In version 11, Android started enforcing scoped storage, a security feature that restricts where apps can access and store files. With those changes, it can be hard to get files where they need to be on your Android devices, even if you have a mobile device management tool, or MDM. Apps are restricted on which files they can access and where they can store files. When it comes to Avanti Velocity, this can be a problem in a few situations. First, if the device has a newer version of Android and you are using an MDM client that is restricted on where it can put the Velocity configuration files. Sometimes the MDM client can download the files, but it can't put them where Velocity can see them. With Avanti Neurons for MDM, you can use a file transfer payload to solve this problem, but not all MDMs offer that solution. Second, if you upgrade to a newer version of Android on a device with an old version of the Velocity client. If you upgrade the Velocity client first, this isn't a problem because newer versions of Velocity that still have access to the old file location will move the files to an accessible location. But if you upgrade the OS first, the Velocity client can't read the location where configuration files were stored in earlier versions. Velocity File Assistant solves those problems by moving Velocity configuration files. Whether you have a device that is upgrading to a newer version of Android, or if you just need to move files from where a user or MDM client puts them, File Assistant moves the Velocity configuration files to a place where the Velocity client can access them. To use Velocity File Assistant, you'll need an Android device with Velocity File Assistant installed and Velocity version 2.1.21 or newer. When File Assistant is installed, it runs whenever Velocity is launched. The first place that Velocity File Assistant looks is in the com.wavelink.velocity directory. Android Storage usually labels the place where this folder is located as internal storage, although different manufacturers may give it different names. I've got a device connected to my computer now, and you can see on this device that the File Explorer is calling it internal storage. Again, this is the first place File Assistant checks. This is where older versions of Velocity stored the profiles, so if you've got an old version of Velocity, the com.wavelink.velocity directory will already exist here. I've created it here to show you where it should be, but you can see right now it's empty. If that directory doesn't exist or is empty, Velocity File Assistant checks in download slash com.wavelink.velocity. Be aware though that File Assistant only checks in the download directory if the first directory is empty. If File Assistant finds files in the first location, it does not check the download directory. And Unlike the first directory, this directory is not automatically created by the Velocity client. File Assistant copies all the files in the source directory. Deployment files, scripts, images, whatever you've got in there. However, if there are directories inside that source directory, those directories and any files they contain are not copied. So make sure you've got a flat file structure, no nested folders. When File Assistant finds files in one of those two locations, the files in that source directory are copied to the destination directory. Android slash data slash com dot wavelength dot velocity slash files. This is the standard storage location for current versions of Velocity. If File Assistant isn't on the device, Velocity is only going to show the demo profile when I open it. Let's exit Velocity and install the File Assistant, then launch Velocity again. File Assistant runs automatically each time that Velocity launches and copies the files from the source location to the destination location. The first time it runs, it asks for permissions it needs to access the files. Naturally, if you don't grant it file permissions, it can't move the files around. If File Assistant finds a file with the same name in both the source location and the destination location, it checks the timestamps on the files. If the file in the source location has a newer timestamp, it gets copied to the destination. That means when you deploy an updated profile, File Assistant copies it over because it's got a newer timestamp. File Assistant is a simple app that helps make managing Velocity configuration files easier.